In this video, I'll show you how to determine if a quadratic equation has a maximum or minimum. Question 1 asks, determine the maximum or minimum value of the quadratic relation y is equal to 3x squared plus 12x minus 15 if it has the roots negative 5 and 1. For this particular question, they've given us the roots already. And we know that when this a term, the term that contains the x squared, has a positive value, then the parabola opens upwards. So if this is positive, you're going to have a graph that looks like this. Therefore, you will have a minimum. So to determine the minimum value given the roots, what you have to do is take your roots and find the average of those two numbers. To find the average of two numbers, you add them up and then divide by 2. So negative 5 plus 1 is equal to negative 4 divided by 2 is equal to negative 2. So the axis of symmetry for this parabola will be at x is equal to negative 2. Now to find exactly the minimum point for this equation, we also need to find the y-coordinate of this point. So, so far we have the x-coordinate of the point, now we need the y-coordinate of the point. To do that, you take your negative 2 and you substitute it back into the original equation. This is the original equation, and I'm going to substitute that negative 2. 3 times negative 2 to the power of 2 plus 12 times negative 2 minus 15. Negative 2 to the power of 2 is equal to positive 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times negative 2 is negative 24 minus 15. 12 minus 24 minus 15 gives you negative 27. So therefore, the y-coordinate of this point is equal to negative 27. Therefore, for this equation, there exists a minimum at negative 2 and negative 27. Let's move on to question 2. Question 2 asks the same thing as question 1. Determine the maximum or minimum value of the quadratic relation. So we're going to follow the exact same steps as before, but notice this time the a term of this quadratic equation is a negative. Therefore, the quadratic will be pointing downwards, and you'll have a maximum. It's very important that your quadratic equation is in standard form. If it's not in standard form, you cannot identify your a term very quickly. So make sure that it is in standard form, and if it's not, expand the equation until it is. So we have our quadratic, and we know we're going to have a maximum. We've also been given the roots, luckily for us. So I'm going to take the average of those two roots. Negative 4 plus 2 is equal to negative 2 over 2 gives us negative 1. So this right here, the point right here, will have an x-coordinate of negative 1, and we're seeking the y-coordinate now. To do that, we are going to take this negative 1 and plug it back into the equation. y is equal to negative 2 times negative 1 squared minus 4 times negative 1 plus 16. And this time I'll use my calculator to show how you can evaluate this. Negative 2 bracket negative 1 to the power of 2 minus 4 times negative 1. Notice that it's in brackets plus 16. And we end up with 18. So therefore the y coordinate here will be 18. And so there you have it. That is how to find the maximum or minimum value of a quadratic when the roots are given. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.